Hello everyone and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Pokemon Violet. How is everyone doing today on this wonderful Monday evening? Fainzy, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you here. We are all but ready to get rolling here for this fantastic thing and I should have some audio. There we go. Rolling here from uh, another round of Pokemon Violet. All right, so the the rough idea for today is mostly working on filling out the Pokedex, um, just catching and evolving things that we haven't uh, managed to capture yet. Um, we may stop by the academy and run through some of the lessons at the school because they're there and it's content. We might as well check them out. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So let's get right to it. And with any luck, we'll have a little bit less of uh, technical difficulties than we did at our uh, 4 o'clock stream. Or 5 o'clock stream. Was it 5 o'clock we were up? Yeah. 5 o'clock stream. Looks like we've got a bunch of uh, terror raids here close by. We might as well go ahead and take a look into that. That's a very yellow terra, terra, terra crystal, which is what that technically is. Raid Din. It's an electric. Is that a? That almost looks like an Axew. Um. Hello, Fainzy. Let's go ahead and take our little Claude Sire in here and see what happens. A four star, so this may be a little bit, a uh, little bit difficult. You have an odd request. What would that request be? Fracture. Okay, that's why it looked like Axio, but it wasn't uh, wasn't actually actually an Axio. <laughs> oh yeah, we got him. This won't be uh, won't be a challenge at all, really. does a lot less when he's got his uh, thing going on. Um, we are a ground terror type, so this ought to rock his world. <laughs> Increased the stats, but all of it was in vain. <laughs> yep, we're gonna catch him. What color should we? 
There's not really anything that's a really good match. The Dust Ball looks kind of neat. Yeah, let's just go with the uh, classic Ultra Ball. I don't know if that's a new one for the Pokédex or not, but uh, all the uh, item drops from that will be good, that's for sure. It is a new one, cool. Fracture uses its thick tusks to neatly cut prey into two portions. One to eat now and one to save for later. Well, that is kind of uh, terrifying. Sweet. That is one less that we have to evolve. If I have a very good grass type under level 40 that I'm willing to trade, um, I honestly don't know. I'm guessing probably not likely because I haven't really trained much as far as Pokemon are concerned. The only um, significant grass types that I would have, or really most types in general, are going to be my main party here, which if I can press the right button... Um, it's going to leave me with just my starter, Meowskarata. Otherwise, I haven't really trained much up as far as my team goes. So there's not going to be really anything that would that would count as a as a good brass type, you know. Um this is is this indeed, I think. Let's check the Pokédex and see if that's a new one. Um That's not the right button. Oh, that that Sprigatito you saw there is definitely not a spare. That was a uh, that was a recovery from from evolving my my main and not uh, not having actually wanted to evolve my main. The Sprigatito is kind of adorable. Um, let's see, we're looking for Indeedee, or it's previous, I don't know, is Indeedee a first evolution or a second? I always get those two mixed up. It's not part of the Gotharita. Uh, line. Mm. Well, to be totally honest, it's probably going to be faster to just battle it and catch it and see what happens. Da -da -da -da. Oh, Tetsugiri. Yeah, because those are the iron ones. It doesn't look like it's in there, so we'll go ahead and see if we can get him. It's a five star. What's it gonna be? That's that's fairy type, isn't it? Oops. Um, but uh, that's not the button I wanted. I want the map. That's not the map either. Go back. That's the map. And of course I'm blocking it. I'm pretty sure the pink one, is, the pink like butterfly thing, is the fairy type. So, fairy type counters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think honestly, I think dark is weak to fairy type, but I want to give my Meowskarata a shot here. 
See if he rolls. If if it's really weak to, because uh... the big thing is if it's not got fairy type attacks, it's not going to matter so much on the weakness front. It will just be whether or not I have attacks that are strong enough to actually take it down. <laughs> the reflections in the pack found are always kind of distorted and sort of creepy. Because I know dragon type is... Yeah, so the, the dark's gonna be weak. Um... Yeah, we'll go Luke. Actually, we don't want to go with Reef Storm because that drops my special attack. Let's start here until we can Terrestalize. Versus stat changes, right? So the slower Pokemon go first? I think. I'm not sure if that was the, the same room. Got it poisoned, that's pretty good. A couple more of these attacks should let us terrestalize and then really bring the pain. <laughs> special attack and special defense. So let's go ahead and do that. This burns up so much time, it's kind of frustrating. And then if you're, if the player's character gets knocked out, I don't know if it does the same thing in uh, like an actual multiplayer match, but if the player's person in a, in a challenge, challenging the battle alone style match, gets knocked out, then everything is all stalled really bad, and nobody else gets to attack until your five seconds or whatever is up. Okay, let's stick with this. Yeah, it's doing a... that does a lot better than the other one, because it's... Uh, flower trick is a physical attack, not a special attack. That may be a problem. There goes the poison. Ouch. <laughs> And that's probably going to mean the end of the battle. Because for whatever reason, nobody else stacks. But see, if one of the, if like, like Ava's Toxpex there is about to faint, if it faints, then it's not even, it's not going to change anybody else's attack pattern. It's just... Uh, and we're not going to have enough time with this one. Not a big deal, really.
Well, it was worth the attempt. We were close if it weren't for uh, getting fainted there. Should be able to grab something to uh, go back in. It looks like either poison and steel type attacks are good against it, so... And fighting Dragon Dark are weak. Um, let's see. Well, I was wanting to look at the attacks, but it's not going to let me do that from here. Cool. type. Okay. I oh, don't know, I do, wait, I do have Indeedee already. So that's not going to be necessary. How did I miss that? Let me switch this to alphabetical. Right there. Sure enough. <laughs> so, no sense in doing that. Let's go over to this poison one and see what's going on. Hey, LeChunk. I found you, Gimme Ghoul. <laughs> Zangus. Um, let's see, can I? I was hoping I could, like, jump a page at a time or something down the list, but it's not looking like I can do that. Because Zangus is going to be right at the end. <laughs> Fair enough, we've got him. So we can skip that one too. Well, hi, Drowsy. Are you a trainer that I haven't fought, perhaps? Nope. <laughs> of is that it's not it's Grievard is is what it started as so hopefully we can find it this way G G R no oh, we don't have either well we we don't have Grievard Well, let's try it. See what happens. Houndstone, that's the word I was looking for. Um, boom, 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 boom. He's ghost type, so... Or is less effective, this may be fatal. Oh, wait, he's terrestrialized, so it doesn't matter. It's basically a free, uh, um, a 
free catch pause sort of thing. Ally switch, but it failed, because you have no allies. That's probably not a good sign. Oh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't cause any damage to itself. There we go. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, I guess we already had a Houndstone, we just don't have a Grievard yet. Well, that's unfortunate. Over here, and we have to have our obligatory Dunsparce disappearing into the ground. There we go. <laughs> Not have a Gumi. Come here, Gumi. Um, yeah, we're just gonna start off with an Ultra Ball. <laughs> I feel it would be kind of cruel and unusual to roast this Gumi. Oh wow, it's super effective. It did one damage. I think we can we can handle a couple more of those. <laughs> There we go, we got a gimme. Gumi's horns are excellent sensory organs that cover all five of Gumi's senses. Gumi picks up on danger from the movement of the air. Send a box. Oh, he's gonna make my, uh, my Pokemon box all Gumi. Yep. Oh, I've already got one. The whooper. The Palvian whooper. Young Goose and Gumshoes. Um. Oh, I can go this way. I have Young Goose. I don't need him. But I will take the gum shoes if I can find him. Is that this one? Yes. All right, we'll do the same here. Just uh, throw an ultra ball right out the gate. Realistically, I should be using quick ball. Young Goose Fur from the Gumshoes. <laughs> Gumshoes specializes in relentlessly tracking down prey. This simple minded squabbit, the simple minded squabbit, doesn't seem to provide Gumshoes enough challenge. Alrighty, well, that is a completed evolutionary line right there. Aw, oh, I was standing on Young Goose. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, roast a weasel looking thing. Sweet. That is uh, not the jump button.
Ooh, this is a ghost type. This is one we haven't looked at yet. Oh, strike that. It is one we've already looked at. We have, I'm pretty sure we've got Basculin. We do not. So into the water we go. <laughs> and Basculin doesn't evolve, so we'll just chuck the ultra ball. Ooh. Stings a bit, really. You're a fish. Let's catch you with a net. Try another net, and then we'll go back to old guys. Really don't want to have to paralyze you, little fish, but uh, I will if I have to. Opportunity. And you failed. Also, it's kind of funny that Pikachu's swimming. And on top of that, everything in this lake is going to be electrocuted. Well, I guess it's just us and Dasculin, so. And a Wooper, but he's ground type, so it wouldn't, wouldn't affect him. Okie dokie. The blue stripe form. There's also a red stripe form that we'll have to watch out for. The power of its jaws is immense, enough to leave teeth marks in iron sheets. Its personality is also extremely vicious. Send a box. There was a picture of the red form. I'm pretty sure we have a Choodle. I'm not sure if we have a Mistrevis. Let's check the Choodle on the way down. C-H Choodle, yep. And then Mistrevis. We have both. We need to evolve both, but we have both. Got a fletchling. And a rookie. Okay. Fletchling is going to be faster this way, and then rookie is probably going to be faster to just keep going. Fletchling, Fletchinder. Okay, so we just need Talonflame. Rookie. We do not have Rookie, so... Here we go. <laughs> I still want a shiny Rookie. That's, uh, that's going to be a challenge later on. Um, let's just, uh, right out the gate. Oh, it's even a color match, too. Perfect. <laughs> Females are fussier than males with respect to rookity. If another creature dirties a female rickety's wings, it'll peck the offender relentlessly in a burning rage. 
Well, that's fun. <laughs> uh, send a box. Alright, let's go down here. There's another Lechonk. Berries. I know I've got Hoppy, but I'm not sure if I have Skippy. I thought there was something that happened last time I went to get a Skip Loom and I missed it. Something small. I do not have a skip loom yet, so there we go. Bunk. <laughs> we probably need that Sviper too. So I don't think I've got him before. Um, there's not really a good color match, I don't know. Pokeball for a skip loom. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sweet. When the weather grows cold, Skip Bloom's flower closes, and the Pokémon cannot photosynthesize, so it flies away to warmer regions. It's a funny-looking Pokémon, really. It's got ears, but I think they're wings, but they may just be... petals. <laughs> It's kind of silly. All right, um, Sviper. We're gonna we're gonna check on him first before we go launching into battle. We need him. Where did he go? Where did he go? There he is. <laughs> This button and this number. Let's go quick ball. Feeling lucky with the quick quick ball. Perfect. Oh, that was the. I heard the Pokemon cry in the background right as we finished that battle, and uh, but it was a it was a lit Leo. Constant polishing makes the edge of the blade on its tail extremely sharp. It's Zangoose's arch-rival. Well, there's a Zangoose in those boxes somewhere. Have fun! Seviper's another one that's really coot. cute. Cute? Cute? What? Really cute when he is, uh... It was a combination of cute and cool. That's what happened there. Really, he's really sweet when he's, uh, shiny. So, Lit Leo, we have uh, no use for you. <laughs> okay. Let's hop down. Hop down here and see what's in this ground based terror raid. Oh, it's the it's an evolution of Chewtle, I believe, if I'm reading that shape right. Um, so we probably need him. Dreadnought, that's what it's called. Let's check on that. D-R-D -D Dreadnought, right there. Yep, we do need him. Okay, he's gonna be ground type. So we need a, a 
water, water type, or a flying. Pikachu's got flying, but his electric makes him weak to ground. Oh, grass would be good. That'll work. Grass is super effective against ground. Um, that'll work. Let's go catch us a Dreadnought. And see, then, because it's normally water-type Pokemon, we're covered as far as its attacks go, too, for the most part. Because the water-type attacks won't have much effect on a grass-type Pokemon. Hmm. And we'll do the same as the last time we ran with Mouscarada. We will, uh run flower trick until either we win or we get to where we can terrestrialize. But honestly we may we may end up even if we terrestrialize we may keep going with the flower trick because it's it's pretty effective. Bonk. It's gonna be what a four shot, probably. I guess it's not halfway yet, so it'll be at least a five because of this, which makes it a little more resilient. And... Bonk. <laughs> yeah, that didn't do hardly anything since it since it added the energy boost. Rain Dance boosts uh, water type moves. I'll terrestrialize and we will clobber in with a flower tree. We got plenty of time left, so that's not a not even a concern at this point. everything up. Let's see if we can get off a of leaf storm. Sweet. Catch him. Let's go with the great ball, perhaps. The red's not really a great fit, but the blue's almost the same color. I guess the quick ball would have been good too, because the yellow on the shell. Sweet. Star piece, that'll be good. And sell that for some money. Replace the uh, different uh, catch ball items that we've used. <laughs> Stuck in the rock. Dredna lurks along the shoreline. When prey come to drink water, Dredna stretches its neck out and chomps down on them. Wow, vicious. And that, I believe that completes another uh, evolutionary line. That was the wrong button. This is the button. That's not the button. This is the button. <laughs> hey, Gumi. Um, actually, I can grab another one later. I was thinking I ought to grab a. Uh, extra Goomy, so I'd have one to evolve, but there's a possibility we'll come across a Sligoo and a 
Well, at least a Sligu. I don't know that we'll find a Gudra in the wild. It is a... Um... Thing. Can't think of his name. Flamigo. That's what it was. <laughs> Cloud sign. Monsters! Let's go ahead and fight this guy. I love Pokemon that are like the monsters in movies. Okay, so probably ghost type. Ivan the Pokemania. Dragon. Dragon type. Weak to fairy type. Uh, Dragon Fairy. So we'll just go ahead and use something. It really doesn't matter. He's level 19. We are not uh, not too pressed on this one. Oh, and that was the only thing he had. Wow. That's unfortunate. Can't believe my monster was defeated. Well, that does happen sometimes. Let's go ahead and catch this Goomy. <laughs> Quick ball. Ooh, repeat ball would have been good too. We'll start with quick ball because it's probably better right off than the repeat ball is being a repeated thing. And then we've been trying to repeat ball. Nope. Protect! Good job! <laughs> Alright. Um, that doesn't work. Ooh, let's go with purple tonight. <laughs> I need to give that to somebody and stick him in the computer so we don't, uh... You may, are you really gonna be like this? If I have to paralyze you, I will. I'm not above doing that. Okay, fine. You've, uh... You asked for it. is going to work, and that's going to be disappointing. Sure enough. I'm going to have to do it again. Protect doesn't work more than once. Or it doesn't typically work more than once. I can use it back to back or whatever. Okay, get in the ball, Gumi. And stay there. Feisty little Yumi. Well, let's try a repeat ball with the paralysis, see if that helps at all. There we go. Send a box. Probably should look first. <laughs> B, C, B, Dreepy. I do have a Dreepy. Bye. Mudsdale Krogunk. Um, yeah. 
Krogunk. Krogunk. I do not have Krogunk. Okay. Let's check Mudsdale, see if we need them both. Mudbray, not Mudsdale. We don't have Mudsdale. That's a Mudbray. We'll take the crow gunk though. <laughs> because it's gonna be uh... It's one we definitely need. Let's hit it with the quick ball first. I don't have a crow gunk colored uh, item yet. Pokeball. Sweet. Quite effective. Frogunk poison. It rarely fights fairly, but that is strictly to ensure survival. It is popular as a mascot. <laughs> What's your sports team? Oh, we're the fighting Frogunks. Okay. <laughs> Nope, that's a Choodle. Uh, Crow Gunk evolves into Toxicroak. I can probably find a Toxicroak in the cave. Let's check and see if I have a Stantler. It would have been faster to go the other way. Wait, I haven't even seen a Stantler? Wow. I'm really slacking. Hmm, does Stantler evolve into Weird Ear on here? I know he did in the, uh... Uh, Legends Arceus game. Maybe that was on here. I don't remember. They all run together anymore. Uh, quick ball. <laughs> It'll work. It's said that this Pokemon used to be stronger long ago when it had many enemies, and that it was even able to evolve under its own power. Fascinating. So that means that uh, Weird Ear is probably in this game. Sweet. There's a person up here. Hey, a pink deerling. Do we have a deerling? And is it perhaps pink? It's a D, so it's pretty close to the top. Deerling. So that would tend to indicate that, uh... <laughs> Dondozo. That would tend to indicate that I do have all of them captured. Or maybe that's just how the Pokédex entry goes, but either way, the point is to... Hey, another Rickety. Let's go ahead and quick ball it. Be a good, good match. I don't remember if the last one we caught in a quick bow or not. Perfect! <laughs> Apparently it liked the color. Rookity, 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 dee dee. 
This person needs our help. Well, I don't know if I'm able to assist. Hello? I need a real workout. You probably could have led with that instead of screaming for help. I'm just saying. <laughs> help! Help! Somebody! Help! I need a real workout! Well, you're probably gonna get more than you bargained for, but... Hey! You got a stum! Okay, I resign. I give up. I, I forfeit. You can win. You have a snom. Okay, fine. I'll melt it. <laughs> Poor snom. <laughs> now that was a good workout. I was sweating a ton. That's probably because I just turned your snom into vapor. Sorry about that. There's a pogey center just down the hill. You should uh, probably take it back there so they can refreeze your snom. Do I want to grab one more rookity? Eh. Not right now. I thought that was a shiny uh, Lit Leo, and then I was confused because that was not the color of a shiny Lit Leo. Actually, shiny Lit Leo are barely distinguishable from their original counterparts. Um, shroomish. Survey says it's an ass. I'm going the other way. <laughs> There we go. We do have a shroomish. Flying over top is a uh, Fletchender, which we have Fletchender, we just need Talonflame. Mm, monkey, we have, so no need to monkey around with him. Yeah, this is definitely, yeah. Like gender. Okay. Um, get bonked. Get the foul play. <laughs> hey, there's another Zangies. Guess we didn't have enough the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Vigoroth. Um, I'm pretty sure I have that already. Do, 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 do. It should be easy. I do not. We'll take him. I guess it should be easy to check, but uh, I think it was. You don't know how perfect that was. Thank you for enduring that hit. Basically made that into a, uh, a thing. Um, now you have to go in a premiere ball. 
there's just there's no other option here. White fur and the the red tuft on his head. It's just the perfect match. Vigoroth. It's always hungry because it won't stop rampaging. Even while it's eating, it can't keep still. Um. Okay. Send a box. Nice. Sandies looked a little different, so I needed to investigate. Well, that was weird. Yep. Okay. So we kind of circled back around through the same area we've been in. Hey, Mankey. It's a deer. Eee, dense bars. Bye. these down done sparse we always find them That's a good example of the different sizes of Pokemon. Being X 
next to each other. Um, I'm scared. Where did that chancy go? That is a shroomish. Ooh. Save a step. Corvanite. Corvanite? No. Mercury. Corvus Squire. And then Corvin. Okay. Um. Try quick ball. See if we're gonna be lucky. I guess we are. All the rickety around me. This intelligent Pokemon will quickly learn how to use any tool it can hold in its beak or its talons. Send the boxes and jump like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> They're all underneath me. There is no way I was gonna get away from that. Okay. We'll have some roasted rickety. Not gonna bother me. Some weird uh, barrier interactions there. Hello, Champion Levi. Here to let your tired Pokemon rest. Sure. Mostly, I just need their uh, attack move power points restored. Okay, a great spot. Oh, it's a great meetup spot with friends. Joke's on you. You kind of have to have friends. Uh, heart desserts will melt your heart. Well, don't do that. I kind of need it to function. My paralyzed heels. My paralyzed heels were delivered. Oh, lovely. Just what you need to help the paralyzed Pokemon. Cool. First one out. Oh, I think I've already uh, had these discussions. Let's take our time. Bounce sweet. Here, give me ghoul. <laughs> Salazzle. Don't have one of them. Switch over here and get a paralysis real quick. this in order to paralyze. Enjoy. Two side acts right on my heels. Uncool, man. Really uncool. 
Are you really going to manage to faint me because of this? This is kind of uncool, to be totally honest. very cash money of you. I take it back. That's not a real plush ultra, pl plus ultra of you. Enjoy the paralysis, Salazzle. <laughs> and I fainted because of the instant. <laughs> Ooh, there's a toxic, toxic, to to toxic. Words. Ah. Your poison has no effect on me. Something different. See what happens. What's the worst that could happen? It breaks free. <laughs> wow. It may be a dark poison type, so that would explain why that would work better. Salandic gas. <laughs> no, it's a poison fire type. Send a box. When two Salazzle meet, they will use their pheromone gas to fight over the males in each other's group. Um, fun story. Hey, Code Man, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. No worries, I appreciate you stopping by. So, fun story about Salazzle. The only way you can get a Salazzle is to evolve a female Salandit. So, the Salazzle are fighting over the male Salandits. Random fact of the day. All right, what is it? Today's random fact of the day. Hmm, Swablu. Do I have Swablu yet? Physically impossible for pigs to look up into the sky. I, I, I actually believe I've heard that one before, so I can concur. But that is random. <laughs> that's all, folks. Because that's Porky Pig's catchphrase. Or tagline, or something. 
Very nice, very nice. And definitely, indeed, quite random. Uh, Swablu. How are you going? Alrighty, no worries. Thank you again for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Got a Swablu in here. I do not have a Swablu yet. Cool. We will take this one then. Probably see me tomorrow if I stream. I uh, yes, I am planning on it. Tomorrow is uh, the Pena Bridge of Spirits. That's the relatively new game that we started a couple weeks ago. It'll be a pretty sweet. Uh, it's it's actually been a really fun game so far, so I've been quite happy with it. Uh, let's just go quick ball here, I think. Let's see if we can get this Swablu taken care of before. Gotta catch them all. That indeed we do. Got to catch them all. And sadly, we can't catch them all. We will have to outsource a few of them because they're not available in this uh, in this version. But uh, we'll catch all the ones that are here for sure. Um, Swablu. It can't relax if it or its surroundings are not clean. It wipes off dirt with its wings. So it's totally just a cotton swab. <laughs> Send to the box. Is that the end of that evolutionary line? Or do we still need... No, we still need Altaria. Or Altaria. Rock Ruff. Rock Ruff. Rock Ruff? I don't remember if we have Rock Ruff. I'm pretty sure we have Rock Ruff. We do not have Rock Ruff. Look at that. Quick ball away! We also need to go heal up our poor... Uh, Pikachu that got poisoned to death. Perfect. Rock, rough. The rock, rough. Rockety, rough. Rock, rough. This Pokemon travels in a pack with others until it grows up. When its mood turns sour, it starts striking the ground with the rocks on its neck. Send a box. Yay, we got Mudbray, got Swablu, we got Mudbray, lots of Mudbray. I think it's the final evolution of these that we're missing. Yeah, we've got Palmo, we're missing uh, Palmy. Hold on a second. Hold on. Maybe I'm delusional, but that one looks, uh... Nope. I was wrong. It was the lighting or something made it look like it was, uh... was a different color. So I figured it was shiny. But it was not. So now it's, uh, fainted. How about Fampy? We do have Fampy, so... We're gonna... E e nope right out of there. <laughs> Ghastly. Hey, it's Swablu. Meditate. This is actually kind of a kind of a neat process. Going through here and and checking the the Pokédex to see if we've got it or not. It's it's long and slightly tedious, but it's kind of fun. We don't have Meditate, so let's go ahead and catch it. See, then once we get all of the, or most of the wild spawns, we can start taking them and leveling them up. The ones that we have to evolve yet.
It meditates to heighten its inner energy and to float in the air. It eats one berry a day. <laughs> okay. So we should probably catch several more rock ruff because it takes two or three rock ruff in order to get the full evolutionary line. So we'll try the quick ball. Because there's um, dusk form lichen rock, there is midday form, and there is midnight form, I believe. All lichen rock. All determined based on the time of day when it evolves or when it levels up at a when it's past a certain level. Swablu, swablu, swablu. Hey, I'll take whatever this is. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, pureeing my uh, <laughs> Miraidon. Uh, let's see, Skiddo. I'm almost 100% certain that we have a Skiddo. Spite Ops, Squavites, yep, yep, we got Skiddo. Okay, Rock Ruff, Pampy, Mudbray. Pampy. Ghastly. Fletchling or Fletchinder. Deerling. Same season. Ooh, a. Ryogre. That's gonna be faster going from the back. That would be a negative. So we're gonna take this uh, little filler here. Color scheme is gonna fit real well with the quick ball. Although the dive ball would look pretty nice too, I think. Ah, broke free. Bonk. Try one more quick and then we'll try a dive just to match. And if that doesn't work, we'll switch over to Ultra. What are you gonna counter? <laughs> throw a throw a ball back. I know most of these aren't suitable for the typing, yeah. But it's about the uh, color matchup. Let's uh, switch to. Uh, I haven't healed Pika yet. I'm gonna put a damper on things. Let's just go Ultra. Ah, very cash money of you. <laughs> It has the peculiar power of being able to see emotions such as joy and rage in the form of waves. Send a box. Sweet. Mm, lechonk. Oh, Petrisi. There's a raid we'll go check out. I already fought you before. Mm, 
We still need Grievard, so we may have to go up into the uh, into the mountains. What is this? Grass type, probably. Oh, it's a Scyther, and it's a grass type Scyther. I can manage that. We need a Scyther. It's a grass Terra type Scyther. So that'll be good. That'll be good. Oh wait, Scyther's normally bug type, not grass type. Oh well. This'll make a mess of things. Honestly, not as effective as I thought it would be. But the, uh, bug type attacks. That's kind of uncool. Charging up in the middle of an attack there. Kind of rude. Not very cash money of you. No, even better. It's not very plus ultra of you. Plus ultra is the new cash money. Just anybody's wondering. Hmm, got a paralysis. Solid. That is real plus ultra. Crunch. Hey, get toasted. And the best part is, it's free! <laughs> he looks like he's got a headache. Do I have something green? Um, probably the nest ball is going to be the best bet, but, uh... Yeah, we'll do it. It looks coolest. Whoosh. This sharp scythes on its forearms become increasingly sharp by cutting through hard objects. Cinderbox. He's a bug flying. He's even further away from grass than I thought. But he's... Ooh, heard the gimme ghoul. Fine. Ah, oh, just one coin. Come on, man. Dead spars! <laughs> Kind of a uh, kind of a Dunsparce fan, in case that hasn't been made abundantly clear. <laughs> wow, that bird sounded like Sonic spinning up to go spin dash away. Spin the box. We've still got to. Uh, Hey, another Dunspars! They're all over! We still have to get a three segment at Dun Dun Dunsparce. I mean, the game's been out long enough now. I wonder if anybody's figured out to. Uh... Wow, that hurts. What the specific um, 
de deciding factor is on it. Because even if it's hidden, it's got to be something. You know? <laughs> if spotted, it escapes by burrowing with its tail, and it's totally adorable when it does so. It can float just slightly using its wings. I found another one. Murkrow? Do we have Murkrow? Surely we, we have Murkrow. But there's there's been a lot of things that I thought, hey, that's, there's no way we don't have that. We don't have Murkrow. Look at that. a dark type, so maybe we'll do a quick ball first, see if that works, if that doesn't, we'll give it a dusk ball. I scrolled right past the quick ball, didn't I? Yep. I was, uh, revealing what the dusk ball looked like. Ah, that'll work. Not gonna question it. If spotted, it will lure an unwary person into chasing it, then lose the pursuer on mountain trails. <laughs> Congratulations, you chased after me. Now you're lost. Enjoy. Hi, Dunsparce. Bye, Dunsparce. Watchling, mass shift. Well, hello there, Pikachu. <laughs> you guys okay over there? Apparently they're having fun. Sweet. I don't know that I necessarily needed another Pikachu, but I wanted I wanted one. I don't know that I have Raichu yet, so maybe. I'm sorry, what? I was like half a mile away from that that family. Nah, I'm not even not even gonna play anymore. If you wanna. You want to do that? What are those hitboxes? See, I was literally here, and it was up here. Generally, you have to actually touch them before it uh, does a thing. Well, I up there. <laughs> Did you know you have a spider above your head? <laughs> there's so many kinds of po- Whoa, watch it. So many kinds of Pokemon, and they're so cute. Space invaders lately? Yeah, how'd you know? Because you're invading my space. Back up. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we got some. Got some. Hmm, that's very shiny. Let's go. It's all the simulation. Jump. Dunspars! Hello. <laughs> Bye. It's just so much fun to watch them disappear into the ground. I'm gonna go see what this uh, shiny spot is. Over here. Le Chonk. Mastiff. Wow, you guys have that dealing surrounding. Whoa. 
Monk. I mean, I've gone far enough over. So we'll just climb up this and see. Oh, there's a there's a stake. There's more stakes. What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, not intentional. Trying to get a good, uh, good angle here. <laughs> this is the, the, the things that nightmares are made of. So there's a uh, ominous stake here. I know I collected a bunch of these. There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Will you pull out the stake? Yes. When you pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. Yeah, I'd, I'd be a little confused too. Magic art. Ooh, there's a red basculin. Let's go ahead and grab him while we're here. Hi. I'll just battle you from below the water. Oh, I floated back up. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have three options. Let's go this one. Let's go quick ball first. That'll work. Both of those. Hey, Skidoo. Oh, it's an ice type or ice terra type. Fire is probably good against ice. Hello! Ooh, it's an ice type Tatsugiri. T -t Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri. Yeah. Um, challenge alone. Tatsugiri. He, uh,. He ranks up there in my uh, my list of Paldea favorites. He's a yellow one. No, I don't know if I've seen a yellow one. I don't know. I've got an orange one. It actually didn't do nearly as much as I hoped it was going to. So this may be problematic. Okay. Wow. He's just tearing apart the, the, the other people. There goes Mudsdale just as soon as he steps in. Oh, because Mudsdale's ground type, and he's still using water type attacks. Right. Oof. This isn't good. We went super effective. We're not going to be much good if we're uh, fainted. Stole some of my Terra Orb charge. 
That was screwed. Terrestrialize, but I'm pretty sure I have a dark terrestrialization and fighting rock, steel, and fire. I'm supposed to be strong against ice type. How is he stealing my charge? That's kind of rude. this really as quick as he keeps uh, knocking everybody down stings a bit we can't get him to break that shield we're not gonna be able to do it and if I faint we're pretty much over that'll faint me come on oh hold on one HP. Still not gonna do it though. Cause he'll use rapid spin or something and or that. And now our attacks are on pause for five seconds or ten. That's the second time I fainted. And they just sit there. They're like, yeah. We're not in the middle of a battle or anything. No big deal. <laughs> we don't have time to finish it. I'll swap out and bring somebody else in to try and do this. Maybe someone that's less weak against uh, water types. Ice is weak against steel, fire, water, and ice. The so steel's probably not affected much by water. No, it's weak to water. Send in the Claude. Is there's ice. Ice is strong against ground type. So that probably wouldn't work very well. See, the thing about Claude is he is. Uh, He's got that attack that the water absorb or whatever, it's the ability, and so it doesn't, the water type attacks would not affect him. But rapid spin is not a water type attack. And, uh, 
dragon thing is not a water type attack, so that wouldn't help us much. Uh... Oh, we do already have that uh, midnight form lichen rock in a pretty sweet looking Pokeball, too. Nice work on that one. Aracuda, I believe that evolves into Veluza. And we have Corviknight, so we've got that full line completed. We have Go Goat, so that full line's completed. We have Talonflame, so that full line's completed. Cool. These are ones I caught this round. Da done, Sparks. Santa 22. Um. Well, what about our Corviknight? How is he? Have ice is strong against flying, ground, grass, and dragon. Which means those types are not going to be very effective against it. That one's going to hurt. Dark and grass. Fire, he's got water type moves. Braviary. Corviknight. He's got flying. He is flying, but he's also steel. Let's, uh... See what moves he can have. Steel wing. Power 70. really not much uh, steel type moves that uh, can use dark flying see here's the orange tatsugiri put him in a uh, luxury ball because he's pretty cool <laughs> and there's the pink tatsugiri he's in a quick ball because I just wanted to catch him I believe Fairy, that's not really steel, fire, water, and ice. So I need somebody. Let's take a look at Claude, see if there's anything we can change moves. Uh, remember move. Okay, so that's not useful. TMs. That's 50 power. Sixty power. Eighty power. That's a water type. That might not be bad. Rock slide seventy-five. Big A impact. Five. 
Secondary, but it's ground type. Bug is probably not very effective. So if we swap these two off for a water type and if we can oops, that's not where I wanted to be. If we can find a steel type. Nope, so a rock type, I guess. Let's go. Rock slide is 75. Ooh, gunk shot. It's only got five. But it's got a high power if we hit it early. Oh, but poison's not. Never mind. I lied. Poison's not one of the things. So, I need waterfall. Um, let's go waterfall instead of megahorn. And let's do something rock related. Rock slide. Instead of earthquake for now. We'll change them back. Eventually. Okay. Rock, ground, and steel types. Could work. We'll try it. See what happens. I don't remember what the moves were that we had before, so I'll have to go back and look at the uh, video to see what we're doing. Then we'll go in here with Cloud Sire. See what happens. Because the biggest thing Cloud Sire has going for him is he will absorb the water and it heals him. So, and maybe we'll get a better set of other teammates too <laughs> while we're going here. Please don't have weak Pokemon. That's a fire type Tauros. That's his attack, that's good. Okay, let's start with Sandstorm. Ha! Can't counter a Sandstorm. Okay, Rock Slide. It's not super effective enough. Ouch! Why is it using counter? I don't think it had can't. Storm drain. Did it just destroy my water type move? Oh, I got him poisoned. He's a water type attack. Good! This, this thing is just sheer chaos. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> yep, that's way too fast to faint. And we're already behind on the timer. Ooh, 
We are way behind on the timer. There's no way we'd win. It's not... We're not set up good for that. I hoping for a better set of teammates, but that didn't work. Okay, let's see if we can fix uh, Claude Sire's moves. Remember moves. Megahorn, yes. Waterfall, yes. I know, I just, I ended up just burning. Um, TMs. that I remembered. <laughs> okay, so alternatively, what do we have for these ground steel? These steel steel. Summary. Power. Smackdown is a uh, rock type as well, isn't it? Yep. Um, honestly, let's let's try this. Oh, he's got nothing. Oh, he's only level twenty-four. What am I thinking? I don't have a level 50 earthworm in here. Level 24 is simply not going to uh, cut it. Oh. Tinkatuff has fighting type attacks. Knackle stack. <laughs> Possibly with like a rock or cleft key. Where are we at on 
fairy. Doesn't look like there's any interactions there. He definitely had a different move set when we went in there this time. I do have a Raichu already. Let's try it with Lichen Rock. It's a five star though, is the only thing. That's gonna be pretty low level on Pokemon for being a five star. Um, let's see, let's pull up the map. There's another ice type one. there so I know where we're at. I'm gonna come up here to Casaroya Lake. So this, part of the part of the interesting catching this particular um Katsugiri is I don't know that I've seen seen any uh hey where is the Pokemon Center? Why is this a flight location? I don't know that I've seen a uh Yellow Tatsugiri. Dratini! Oh, and there's a uh, evolved. Uh... Okay, yeah, there's yellow ones. And pink ones, too. I think that's the four different. Uh... Holy 53! Uh... <laughs> The stretchy form! One of the most intelligent dragon Pokemon. It camouflages itself by inflating its throat sack. In the box. Okay, I need to look for... The pink... Is that a pink one? Um... That's not what I wanted. Um, that's not what I want. That's definitely a pink one. Okay. And an orange one. And a 
yellow one. sure there's one more color. I thought there was four. And I may not have the fourth one yet. Does not look like it. Yellow. Orange. Pink. Okay. What have we got here? I see yellow. It looks like sushi. I have pink. I have orange. I have pink. I have a gold back that really wants to interfere with what I'm doing. <laughs> when they get scared, they turn into sushi. That's funny. He's just like, yeah, sushi. There's a gummy ghoul up here. Oops. Oh. Been attacked by Golduck. Golduck! Well. It's gonna be a problem because he's a rather high level Golduck. Yeah, he's not too bad. That's gonna hurt. Oh, good job, Houndoom. Good job. Finish him off. Perfect. I found you. <laughs> Look at all the Tatsugiri. So it looks like there's only... What? What? Um... Sir? That's a... That's a, a thing. That's a bona fide thing right there. Um... Wake up, Pikachu. And... Let's just use, uh... Do these. All right. I challenge you, Azumarill. Because this is a Terra Azumarill. Ooh, but it's a fairy Terra type. I didn't plan for that. Plan for the water type. Well, why not? Let's see what happens. Failure. <laughs> wow, that really gets you. Ouch. Oh, we still got the uh, paralysis we're looking for. Okay, so counters to fairy. Poison, steel, and fire? That doesn't make any sense. This list I'm looking at may be... Uh, switch to the clod from here. This is probably my best bet. A solid hit. Please hit. How did you avoid the attack? Well, 
You did something, Pikachu. <laughs> Poison and steel. I don't have any steel, but I do have poison types. Try this. I think it was close combat that it used, and that may not be a good uh, situation. The ground terror types, and there's really no point in. Oh, nice hit! Liquidation. <laughs> Slurpity slurp! <laughs> and we don't have to worry about feigning it because it's terrestrialized, so we'll break its terrestrialization or things. And now it's already paralyzed, and oh, I want it to go in the Great Ball so bad. We'll try this. It would match its color scheme so much better. Come on. That's fine. Keep doing that. I will slurpity slurp all that liquidation up. You've got no power over me. Yes! Yes! Good. We needed a solid uh, Azumarill. I don't know if that Terratite's what we needed, but... Because, uh, Water Fairy, by keeping still and listening intently, it can tell what is even wild, what is in even wild, fast-moving rivers. And that was one we didn't have yet, so we'll send to boxes, so we've got it on hand, and it's a decent level, so we'll have to collect it up sometime and, uh, do some training with it. Um, let's go ahead and go to a Pokemon Center. Somewhere. Yeah. Patched up and everything. That's fine, because I didn't want to ride your ride on right now anyway. However, that is going to bring us to the end of our time for this episode. So, um, for those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4. Make sure you follow us on Twitch so we can send you a notification when we go live. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram so we can keep you updated anytime there's a change to the streaming schedule. Um, like today, earlier today, we had uh, a bonus stream before the, the scheduled stream. So that's where we post updates, so keep an eye on those platforms as well. Um, we also have a TikTok and Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. That would be super cool. And make sure you like and subscribe there on YouTube. It helps out the channel, helps you find more content similar to this, thanks to the wonderful YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Otherwise, that is everything we've got for today. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, and we will catch you in the next one. Until then, stay random.